Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We finally have a glimpse of Shattered Space, the upcoming DLC for Starfield. They just released a trailer. Let's watch it first. Let's watch the trailer first. Looks like previous rumors that the DLC is going to be centered around the only faction that we haven't covered in the main game. The House of Arun is true. It is the only faction that we didn't get to see much. We didn't have a quest for it, but we're going to dive deeper in the DLC. It also seems like we're going more and more towards the supernatural instead of sci-fi. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. But I am curious, looks like there's going to be ghosts, like people ghosts and alien ghosts from the trailer. Maybe it is a new power that we're able to get. The trailer also seems to be leaning a little bit towards the suspenseful trailer and even some horror elements, I'll say. It's a quite a big departure from the original trailers for the Starfield game which was more relaxed, exploration, sci-fi, things like that. Suddenly, this looks like a bit of a 180. It almost seems like a different thing. I am excited to see what's going to happen. And also, who is she? Is she an important character or just a random NPC? Two questions that I have. One, I didn't see any shots of vehicles. I know that land vehicles is coming to the game. But it's interesting that they didn't show any clips of that. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be available by the DLC or not. And the second question is Andresia. We had a quest. She's part of the House of Arun and things like that. So I wonder how her story, her dialogues, whether are going to change in this DLC. Whether there's going to be a connection, things like that. I would like to see it. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, considering that to some players, Andreja may have been the one who died in their main campaign. So we'll see. I do hope that her dialogue changes for those who still have her around. Super excited. Unfortunately, we still don't have a concrete date other than end of 2024. Most of the prediction seems to be August or September of 2024, but we'll see. And finally, there was this shot at the very end. I'm not too sure what's going on. Are they clones? Are they people in there? So looks like this whole DLC is going to be quite a mystery. There's a lot of revelations and things like that. 
And just when I thought that that was it, Bethesda came out swinging, revealing that there's going to be a brand new update available for download tonight, June 9th. And it's going to be probably the biggest update that we've gotten so far with new content that includes new locations, new gear, looks like it's going to be a weapon and also new bounties. I was pretty surprised because our last update was just pretty recently, but here it is, a brand new one dropping today. And this update will also have the creations tool. Looks like it's going to be a marketplace of content created by third party or first party from Bethesda. And with that, looks like we're also getting microtransactions. Some of the content seem free, but others looks like you have to actually pay with real money to buy credits. And from this screenshot, looks like there's going to be a Starborn suit and hopefully it's free that you're able to get for those who didn't go into New Game Plus like me, at least were able to get one of those Starborn suits. Hopefully that is the case. I'll be curious to see if we're able to share our ship builds, our designs with each other. I guess we'll find out soon enough. A lot of exciting things coming. As soon as the update becomes available, I'm going to install it, try it out. Of course, I will be making more videos about all these new things. So please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Help me support my channel. Thank you all for watching. Have fun and I'll see you all in the next video.